Well, after a few warm days, it is definitely feeling more like fall outside today. For like a minute. Well, for like a hot <laughs> minute, but you have to enjoy it while it's here, huh? And, and you know, it's a weird thing because cooler and, and warmer, people have all kinds of opinions about what's good. Right. Uh, one of our own coworkers is like, I want the fall weather, I want the fall weather, I can't handle the 80s in your forecast. Well, that's like my husband, he wants sweatshirt weather, hoodie weather, that's his favorite. Well, he can wear them all through the 80s if he wants. Oh yeah, that would be kind of <laughs> no hot. No one's going to stop them. <laughs> But we are talking about a forecast more typical of mid-July. Okay, yeah, coming not, up. Not late September. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not seeing it a whole lot today. Have a look. It is a bit of a fall-like day today, or at least early fall. We're seeing cloudy, dreary conditions. Scattered rain has been on and off throughout the day ever since early this morning. And... It's going to be like that pretty much all through the evening. Temperatures are in the upper 60s. Some of us did reach over 70. And zooming out, it's like that for a lot of lower Michigan. The UP actually seeing a very nice calm day today. There is a dry spot here. That's mainly your Wednesday forecast down the line. We have a few more storms on the way for Thursday. Not a lot. In fact, after today, it's mostly a very dry forecast or a rain free forecast for the most part because dry is not a word I'll be using a whole lot. Hot and humid across the central plains. That dome of warm air is working its way into the Great Lakes region. Very typical of something more mid early summer than you know late summer early fall. Uh, elsewhere though we are still of course following Hurricane Jose a category one still this far north maintaining hurricane status going to bring some trouble out towards the northeast some heavy rains probably some strong winds but he's very slowly but surely dying out elsewhere down the line Hurricane Maria still a massive category five you can see that very well defined eye yesterday rolled right over the eastern parts of the Caribbean now sights set on Puerto Rico let's go through the forecast category five could maintain category five status as she hits the island of Puerto Rico pretty much dead on uh, sometime throughout the course of tomorrow. After that, she remains a major hurricane as she uh, skips by the eastern Bahamas and out towards the ocean. Not that likely to impact the mainland U.S., but this is still going to be a long-lived major hurricane for a while, something we'll be tracking for days to come. Puerto Rico will be hit very hard tomorrow. Meanwhile, in our own weather headlines, Thursday rainfall. It's not likely to be a whole lot, but we could hear a few rumbles of thunder that day. Sunshine is in the majority of your seven-day. That includes a long stretch of summer weather, hot and humid, not warm. Warm, not just a little bit of a warm stretch. This is hot and humid summery weather. So in our forecast tonight, we are seeing some lingering cloud cover. A few evening showers will be around uh, pretty much on and off, maybe a little bit more out towards the east, but still chances for raindrops all evening long. After midnight, it does die down. The clouds will linger. Wednesday's morning commute, don't expect much sunshine, but by the end of the day, late afternoon, and if you work day, these clouds break apart. And I'm thinking we'll see a good deal of that late sunshine, which will help to push up our temperatures. But by Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, that weak little front tries to move through. And that could give us a few showers, maybe a few little rumbles of thunder throughout the day. Thursday, in between sunshine, it is not a lot of rain, but we could see something on Thursday. 62, your overnight low. Evening showers, mostly cloudy skies, not as much rain after midnight. 82 tomorrow, cloudy early, but late sunshine, a warmer day. I'm not expecting any rainfall tomorrow. In the seven days, though, we could see a few of those storms Thursday morning, maybe in the afternoon too. It's not much, but after that, it's all sunshine. Mostly sunny skies, humid, no rain, but it, it was it is going to be humid and hot, upper 80s. I mean, that's not so above average if this were mid-July. You know, our highs max right. out mid-80s in July, but here we are pushing possibly 90 on Friday. It's just so hard to believe. At this point in the year, you just don't expect it. Uh, you really don't, and I think the cool weather will probably be filtered pretty quickly after. <laughs> so it'll come as a real shock really to the system. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dustin, thank you.